Welcome to this third video about Spring Boot. In this video we will further configure Spring Security with custom users and authorities. All questions, comments and new ideas are always welcome in the comments below this video. All code is also always available on the GitHub website. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel, that way you won't miss any new content. Thank you for following our channel and supporting us. For step 1, let's go to the code in Eclipse. In this video we will only go over the code that we have adjusted, you can view the code from previous videos via the link in the top right corner. We start with the POM XML file and see the following additional dependencies. Spring Boot Starter JDBC and MariaDB Java Client, if you use a different database you must adjust the dependency for your database. There are Maven dependencies for all common databases. The second step is the application YAML file. Here we configure the data source. Then comes Schema SQL, here we create the tables and fill them with data. If you have a database with the correct tables, this file is no longer necessary. The last step is to change in memory user details manager to a JDBC user details manager. It is that easy to store the users and authorities in a database. You can also find all the information on the Spring IO website. You have the in-memory authentication that we used in the previous video and the JDBC authentication that we use in this video. In this explanation they use the H2 embedded database. In the second part of this video we will expand the user further. We go back to Eclipse with the security config class we have a small adjustment, we use the enable method security annotation. More in the admin and user service class later. Next is the user record. We have username here. Password. Enabled. And the list authorities. The home service has one method get text. The admin service class also has one get text method. This method is protected with the pre authorize annotation, which works together with the enable method security annotation. This way, this method is only useful for logged in users who have the admin role. The user service is a new class where we retrieve the data from the database tables. We have two SQL commands. Find all users. And find user by username. We load the JDBC client with constructor injection. Here too, the methods are protected with the pre authorize annotation. Get text returns the text user. Get all users returns a list of all users. Find by username returns the user that is logged in. The user extractor class converts the database data into a list of users. The user by username extractor converts the database data to a single user. The last block is the controllers. Home controller has the home and index endpoints from the previous video. The user controller has one endpoint and returns the user HTML page with the user's data. The admin controller has one endpoint and returns the admin HTML page with the data of all users. The last part are the HTML files. In the index page we show the username and roles of the user. This text is only visible if someone is logged in. The user page shows the data of the logged in user. The admin page shows the list of all users in the database. The page templates is an HTML file with three pieces of code that we can reuse. Navbar. Main text. 
and footer. The last is the style CSS that has been adjusted in a few places. We can now start and test the project. We open the project in a browser window localhost 8080. This is the start of the project when no one is logged in. We can now log in with user and password. Now we get the user's brief details. If we click on user we get all the data of this user. When we log out we return to the home page. We can now log in with admin and password. On the home page we get the short data of the user. When we click on user we get all the data from the user admin. And if we click on admin in the menu we get a list of all users. This is it for today. In the next video we will further configure Spring Security. Thank you for following and supporting our channel. All questions, comments and new ideas are always welcome in the comments below this video. All code is also always available on the GitHub website. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel, that way you won't miss any new content. Thank you.